Hello, and welcome to this Percona Everest demo showing you how to create and configure databases and backups. Everest is an open source private database as a service that helps developers and database administrators to deploy code faster, scale deployments rapidly, and reduce database administration overhead. Now let's dive in. To create a new database, start by selecting a type of database and specify the name, version, and preferred storage type. In the next step, you can specify the number of database nodes and the allocated resources for each node. Let's use the default settings for this first database. You can also enable backups at this point, but let's skip that step for now. Here, you can enable external access and customize further configurations for the database. To enable monitoring functionality, you'll need to install Percona Monitoring and Management. We'll create a separate video on how to do that. Now that you've finished the database configuration, click Create Database. You can check the status of your new database in the list of databases. In this drop-down box, you can check your database information. Let's go to Settings and add a backup storage to configure backups. Everest supports Amazon S3 compatible backup locations, which means you can use a WS S3 or any other storage solutions that support S3 API. Let's go with Amazon S3 for now. Back to the list of databases, you can check that the new database is already up and running. You can now configure backups from the database details. Notice that you can edit, restart, suspend and delete the database from this menu. Let's create another database with different settings and connect to it. This one will be a simple MySQL database with a single node. Scheduled backup settings are instantly available. Enable external access for all IPs or specify one or more IP addresses. Monitoring will come in later. Everest is now creating the new database while Percona Kubernetes operator from MySQL handles the actual deployment. You can check these details in the terminal with the kubectl command. Use Percona Everest namespace and the getdb command. Here you can also check which pods are running in the cluster. This shows MySQL PXC and MySQL HA, proxy pods, operator pods and Postgres and backup pods. Let's go back to the Everest interface and connect to the MySQL database. Find the access credentials in the database details and connect to the database. Here I'm using the well-known MySQL Workbench. Create a new connection using the known parameters. The connection is successful, that's great. We're now ready to run an SQL query for the test, so let's create a test database and see if it works. On the backups page, you can review the backup setup for the Postgres database. From here, you can restore the database or create a new one from the backup. Now, let's explore additional functionality, like stopping Postgres and deleting MySQL. All works well, so this concludes the video. Everest is currently in alpha stage. We encourage you to be a part of Percona Everest Evolution. Test the alpha release and share your valuable feedback. Your insights are key to refining functionality and enhancing the overall user experience. Check out the next video showing the step-by-step -step installation of Everest with monitoring capabilities. Thank you for watching and goodbye.